is up you guys welcome to today's video it's your girl lax me and i am finally back with another video if you are new to my channel welcome my name is lax me go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you boo are already part of the excited squad just by clicking on this video so let's just become let's just become bffs okay we're officially bffs because you clicked on this video so let's just you know let's just throw that out there I already know what many of you are going to say. You guys are going to probably want to hang me because I've been gone for a whole month. But you guys, I was in the process of moving. I had to go on vacation. I was dealing with a lot of stuff. So I just had to take off the time. I had to take off the time. and But now I'm back. That's what's important. Now I am back. I am feeling recharged. I am feeling great. I am so excited to be sitting down here and filming. I feel like it has been ages and I missed it. So... Yeah, as you have seen on the title of today's video, today I'm coming to you guys with a life update Q&A. I asked you guys a couple weeks ago on my Instagram to ask me some questions. What were your curiosities? What did you guys want to know? And you guys bombarded me with questions, so I am probably going to split this Q&A into two parts just because I don't want to be putting out super long videos anymore. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read the questions that I have off of my iPad. I got these from Instagram. I will tell you, if you have not followed me on Instagram, I'm going to leave my Instagram right here. Okay. And I'm going to put it here as well. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Leave me a comment. Let me know you're part of the excited squad so I can follow you back. Another thing is that a lot of my Q&A requests or polls or things like that i always host on my instagram just because i have a bigger following there and i can hear more voices there and then i bring it here so if you want to voice your opinion or voice a you know a question or whatever it is if you want to reach me more personally go ahead and go to my instagram send me a dm leave me a comment i literally reply to all of my dms i'm sure anybody can say that in the comments down here that i have reply to whatever DMs anybody sends me. I'm very, very, you know, chatty and I love to engage with you guys. So if you ever have something more personal you want to like maybe talk to me about or reach me directly, go to my Instagram, follow me there. Let me know you're part of the Aesthetic Squad and yes. Again, I'm going to be only answering maybe 10 to 15 questions today. And if you guys want me to do a part two, I will because I got over 300 questions which i was like damn first of all i love the fact that you guys asked me so many questions that's awesome um a lot of them were repetitive but anyway here we are all right so the first question that i have here is did you buy a house no um i did not buy a house i know that that was a very big goal that i had for 2020 but unfortunately with everything going on with covid it was just nearly impossible for me to buy a house just because of all the issues that were coming like and arising with buying a house. I was in the market for a while and every time I would look at a house, the next day somebody would have bought it already and I went through a really bad depression. I was not emotionally prepared to be in the market. So I sort of like pulled myself back and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until next year. So 2022, God willing, because I can't do anything without God say, God willing, I will be buying my first house and I am excited. I am excited because I feel like this is going to allow me to have more time to educate myself about home purchasing and home owning and all that stuff. So yes, we did not move into a brand new house. We moved into an apartment and this apartment is smaller than the space that i had before but it is so much more comfortable there's a lot more lighting like for example today i'm sitting in uh, i'm sitting on the sectional couch and i am right in front of the balcony i have so much more natural lighting which i freaking love i am ugh, i just love it here now i know a lot of you guys have been wanting for me to do an apartment tour it's coming. I just don't have all of my furniture in yet. My couch just got delivered while I was in Georgia and my dining room table does not arrive until the end of June. So we're literally like, we're not ready yet, but just, just stay tuned. It's a coming. It's a coming. Okay. So the next question is what state do you live in? I live in the state of Pennsylvania. I don't know if I ever told you guys that, but I live in PA. Um, I am about an hour and 45 minutes from New York city and an hour from Philly, maybe like 50 minutes from Philly. So I'm not going to tell you guys exactly which city just because I want to be private with my life. A lot of, um, a lot of you guys 
actually are from the area and have seen me and said hello, which I love. So if you guys do see me out there, I'm not a celebrity. I'm a human being just like you. Come up to me and say hi. We might not be able to hug because of COVID, but I can definitely say hello and maybe take a selfie and, you know. Third question is, how is moving going? Um, I will tell you, I've already moved in. Um, I still have a total of maybe like five to six boxes that I have to sort of unbox. And because the place is a lot smaller, I don't have, <laughs> I don't even want to say this out loud. I don't have all the space that I need to put all these things away, but I am managing and I'm little by little finding, you know, ways to amplify the space that I do have. And, you know, it's, listen, the worst part is over. My fear was moving. Luckily, we were able to get movers and this company really hooked us up. Like, I didn't have to lift a box. I didn't do jack shit. Like, I didn't do anything. So, if you are in this area here, I'm going to leave their information below. I do believe they might travel to New York and close by states. I am not sure yet. It is a small business. I wanted to keep it in a small business. I didn't want to hire like a big company. And needless to say, best decision ever because the price was dumb, stupid, like mind blowing, mind blowing. I already told him that he is the person I'm going to be hiring when the time comes for me to move into my brand new house. So yes to answer the question because i always go on a tangent um the move was it was good it was good i honestly my mission was or my part was to have everything packed the movers did the rest and i'm content i'm so happy in this space i love it it just feels so good so cozy i love my brand new couch i can't wait for my dining room to come in and things are little by little you know starting to look put together um i have already put up some stuff on the walls but you guys will see that soon when i do the little <laughs> the little apartment tour so stay tuned for that all right so the next question that i have here is what is your go-to moisturizer my go-to moisturizer i have two right now um one of them i actually ran out of but i should be getting it in the mail any day now because i ordered it on ulta online it's the clinique 72 hour moisture surge i think is what it is i'm not 100 if that's the name but i'm gonna insert a picture right here um and the other one is the cerave moisturizing lotion i'm also gonna insert a picture right here such awesome moisturizers honestly those are the only two that i've tried in a really really long time that have really quenched my skin the proper way because I'm, I'm already oily so people have a lot of misconception with oily skin it's like oh if you have oily skin you don't really have to moisturize which is a lie it's a lie because oily skin needs moisture as well these two products have been my go-to for the past four months or so so if you have oily skin and you're looking for the perfect moisturizer try those out try those out because I said what I said. Next question is a very good one. Um, and I don't even know how I'm going to answer it, but is how do you stay sane? I'm going to be honest with you. It's been very hard these past couple weeks staying sane and sort of battling my demons because I've been bombarded and overwhelmed with so many different changes, so many things happening. And my life has been moving way too fast. And I am not fond of abrupt changes and things like that but for me what i feel like has worked for me is praying and it might sound weird but also crying and you might be like uh, what okay i have struggled with bottling in feelings for a really really long time and that only rotted me from the inside out i've realized that being true to my feelings and expressing them and just letting them out cleanses my soul like cleanses me emotionally physically like if i ever feel like i'm just having a bad time and i need to cry i cry it out and when i'm done i wipe my tears and i feel like a bad bitch excuse my language i feel like you know what i have my human moment now let me go back to being supernatural let me go back to being the, the best i could be let me go back to being a star let me go back to killing it you know what i mean so being true to your feelings validating your feelings and how you are how you are in that moment is probably one of the best things you could do for yourself to stay sane, to realize that you're just not going crazy, that you're not really 
you know, that I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it has worked for me. Being true to myself and also taking time away from certain things that are stressful or just, I don't know, overwhelming, I will say. Um, for me, for a while, filming was becoming very stressful because... I don't know, it's just I felt the obligation to film, not the desire to film. And this past month being away from filming, even though I missed you guys so much, it was very good for me to just take a break and just focus on me, focus on my kids, focus on my new space, you know, give thanks to God for all the new things that I have and for all the things that he took away. So yeah, sorry for the long answer. <laughs> Next question is, how are you feeling? First of all, thank you so much for asking that because I feel like not many people really care about your feelings nowadays. I really appreciate you asking that. I, right now, in this moment, am not the happiest because of certain losses and just certain things that are happening. But even though I am not fully happy, I am very happy grateful and very blessed with many other things right now um some things are too personal for me to go ahead and talk about on here but i will say that i more than sadness i am feeling very blessed and i have a lot of gratitude and i have a lot of hope so that alone battles the sadness and most in most days it kills it so yes next question is can we get a house tour soon Yes, I already answered this question, but yes, I will be doing an apartment tour very, very soon. Like I said before, I am going to be receiving my dining room set towards the end of June. So once that comes in, everything should be put together because the thing is that while I was living in the other space, I was already buying a bunch of like home decor stuff, frames, pictures, art, all that kind of stuff. So I already have everything here. I don't really need to buy not one more thing. The last thing that I truly need is just my dining room set and then just get the boxes unboxed and just put everything where it belongs. So once that is in, you guys should be seeing a video towards the beginning of July. That's what I'm hoping, towards the beginning of July. If by some miraculous reason, the dining room becomes available sooner, then you guys can go ahead and get the video sooner sorry if my lighting is changing a little bit i think that's one of the like the cons of working in front of like natural lighting is that the sun sort of does its own thing and the light shifts but we're here we're here moving on to the next question is did you hire movers yes I, and i already answered this question i did hire movers uh the company's name is beast moving Something like that. I am. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I will leave them linked down below or I will be leaving their Instagram down below because I don't believe they have a website yet, but you can hire them or access them through their Instagram if you do send them a DM. So if you're interested in knowing which company it was, I will leave them linked down below for you guys. Next question is, what is your favorite piece of home decor in your new place? Um, one of them is in my bedroom over my bed. Um, if you've been on my Instagram, you probably saw because I put a picture up of it. Um, it's a very, very, very meaningful piece that I got from one of my co-workers. Her name is Christina. I had this piece in a cart for over two years and I could not pull the trigger on it because it was very expensive. And for my 30th birthday, she went ahead and bought it for me as a surprise and gifted it to me, which brought me to insane tears because she knew how long I wanted that piece for. She knew how much it meant to me and she went ahead and gifted that to me. And I honestly, I can't. I'm gonna try to insert a picture right here of the piece. And then another piece that I have, I actually have it right in front of me right here. And it's this elephant right here. And this elephant means the world to me because this was gifted to me by my mom. Um, she's not my mom by blood. She is my daughter's grandmother, but she is the closest thing to a mom that I've ever had in my life. And I call her my mom. She gifted this to me when I got my very, very first apartment and it's been with me ever since. She knows how much I love elephants and she went ahead and got me this. And this was the very first piece of home decor that I had when I got my very first place. So this elephant right here holds a very special place in my heart. I always showcase it. People always ask me about it when they come visit because it's such a beautiful piece. And I don't know, man, it's... It's beautiful. Like, let me show you guys some of the details of it. 
such a beautiful elephant love 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 it the thing about my mom is that she always remembers the things that i like or she always remembers if i if i bring up a certain thing and then she always surprises me with it like she's like the best freaking listener it's not even funny like i'm so blessed to have her she's the best but anyway moving on to the next question how is your mental health um that question sort of go, goes hand in hand with the other question that I just answered. My mental health right now is pretty stable. Is it always like that? No. You guys know that I uh, battle depression and I have my own demons that I fight every single day. I'm constantly in a fight to just stay above the hole, you know, um, stay above ground and just always just keep myself in the light. Stay out of that dark hole, that dark place that is depression and Right now, as of late, I've been very good at battling it. Um, I am going through um, a current battle right now with my current job situation. i um, questioning myself a lot. I'm wondering if it's really what I want to do. Right now, I feel like the only thing that has really been bringing me a lot of joy is doing my YouTube videos. And I have been contemplating possibly just doing YouTube full time. So that's something that, you know that's that's my battle right now that's where my mental health is sort of like dragging me to like are you really happy in your current job do you want to do something different what really makes you happy and yeah but as of right now my mental health is stable it's stable i am smiling more often i am laughing more often i am being less crabby i am I'm a lot more patient because i am not as depressed and anxious as i usually am I do, like I said, have those times and those days where I just collapse and I just give in to the sadness and stuff. And, you know, it's just weak moments where I forget my blessings. I forget to count my blessings and I just sink into that deep, dark hole. But lately, I've been very good and I'm very grateful to God because he is the one who's keeping me afloat he is the one who really brings me joy and reminds me that i am very blessed to be alive i am very blessed with beautiful healthy children i'm very blessed with a job i'm very blessed with good friends you know i'm blessed so thank you for asking though i really appreciate that. all right so next question is what is your favorite deodorant <laughs> I like that question. That question was random. Right now, my favorite deodorant is this one right here. This is the Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray Deodorant. But it's not just any one of these because they have a lot of different fragrances or scents or whatever. It's the Rose Petal one that it has gotten me just obsessed. I am obsessed with this particular one. This is what the bottle looks like. I can't begin to tell you guys how much I love this deodorant. It literally smells like roses. And the thing that I like about this deodorant the most is that the smell lingers throughout the day and you are always smelling fresh. Like, oh, it's so freaking yummy. Love, 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 love it. Next question is, what is your home decor vibe slash theme? So I have mentioned this a couple times before, but I'm really into the modern farmhouse. And I know a lot of people have so many negative things to say about farmhouse, but I honestly feel like I could I could have not found something more suitable for me and my personality. I like mush and gush. I like, you know, cozy vibes. I like homey things. And I feel like modern farmhouse is like, perfect has beautiful neutral colors brightness all over the place just cute cozy stuff like matter of fact i got this sectional and this sectional is massive just wait until you guys see this sectional is massive i got this sectional and i didn't even realize that it had this like it doesn't get any more farmhouse than this a pillow like this and then look at the fabric so freaking beautiful so soft love it love it but yes i know i've mentioned it a couple times before but farmhouse is definitely the vibe i do have a little bohemian um splashed here and there and hints of aztec but mainly it's all woodsy stuff browns creams beiges you know that's and a splash of black because black is just my happy color so yes
Next question is, why are you so beautiful? This question really made me smile. Thank you. Next question is, are we going to get more home content slash cooking videos? P.S. I love you. I love you too. And the answer is yes. I do plan on incorporating a lot more, you know, home videos, like home decor videos. What do I do around my house? Cook with me videos, vlogs with my kids, vlogs when I go out with my friends, etc. So stay tuned for that. That is coming. I promise you guys, I already have a list of things planned out. And I was just waiting to be moved into this new space and just be here and accommodate my space before I went ahead and did all that extra stuff. So stay tuned because that is coming. Last and final question that I'm going to answer on this video is what are your future plans? Um, as of right now, I don't know what the future holds for me. I will tell you though, I would very much love to do YouTube full time and eventually branch into acting. That is what I've been saying for years. It's my dream job. I love being in front of a camera. Um, I do love my job as a banker but is it really what i want to do for the rest of my life no that's one thing i am certain of so hopefully very soon you know when god decides is the time i will be doing youtube full time hopefully and just following my dreams at this point that's all i want to do i really just want to chase all of my dreams that is what i want i want to travel i want to chase dreams i want to build memories with my kids um so yes the next thing right now my next goal possibly before i even buy a house next year it's hopefully just sticking to doing youtube full-time so we'll see anyway that sums up this part of the q and a let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like me to do a part two because i do have a bunch of other questions my gosh you guys literally blew up my page with so many questions and i am very grateful thank you so much if your question was not answered on this q a let me know in the comments and i'll go ahead and do a part two and possibly your question will be answered there again thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out my channel subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys would like to see next also don't forget to go ahead and follow me on instagram because like i said if you guys want to reach me more directly instagram is the way to go so i'm going to be leaving my instagram here and i'm going to also be leaving a link in the description box below so go ahead and add your girl on insta let me know you're part of the aesthetic squad and yeah Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye.